When creating your landing pages, you need to consider both your marketing angle as well as your technical on-page SEO. How does your web page appeal to your market? Do you offer something unique that someone can't find anywhere else? Do you provide the fastest service or the highest quality product in your market? Whatever it is, you need to differentiate yourself from your competitors to draw people in. And when it comes to SEO, the more focused your strategy, the better. With this in mind, let's get started with the most important step for any kind of search campaign, keyword research. What specific keyword is our landing page targeting? Are we targeting a popular high search volume word like guitar strings, for example? Guitar strings has 40,500 searches per month alone on average. That's a lot of potential traffic, but high popularity means high competition and only a generic level of interest from searchers. The great thing about SEMrush is that every keyword is listed with a keyword difficulty score, so you can evaluate how hard it would be to rank for a targeted keyword. Remember, we want to target something more specific that will be less competitive. So how do we find more specific keywords? Well, we can jump into Keyword Analytics and open the Keyword Magic tool. We'll enter the general keyword we have in mind, Guitar Strings, and hit Search. Let's see what we get. At the top of our table, we see the total volume of all the keywords SCMrush sees as related to Guitar Strings. In this case, over 600,000 related searches per month. To the left, we see all of the groups. This is where we can start to get more specific. With each group, you can evaluate how many keywords and how much volume the category represents. Notice the groups for modifiers like acoustic, electric, and nylon, and also for brand names like Martin, Ibanez, and Fender. But in order to stand out from the competition, we want to find something more specific and unbranded. If we keep scrolling down, we can see a modifier like heavy. In this group, we strictly see keywords related to heavy guitar strings, a more specific search. While there's not a ton of volume associated with each keyword, the total's group volume generates over a thousand searches per month, which in our case is enough to base a landing page around. These keywords are great because they represent searches with narrowed focuses. They know that they want heavy guitar strings, but don't include a brand in the search, which is perfect because they're potentially open to shopping around and checking out a new website. From the Keyword Magic tool, you can select the keywords you want to go after and send them to the Keyword Analyzer with the button at the top right to get deeper metrics on each keyword and export them to a file to save your research. Additionally, you can send them into a position tracking campaign to keep your eye on each keyword. After the keyword research is done, it's time to execute our on-page SEO. So what is on-page SEO? On-page SEO refers to written text and meta information on a landing page that help improve the page's search rankings. This can be defined in two sections, content and code. The coding of your landing page should follow Google's best practices to ensure you include the correct information for people to find your landing page. The basics that you need to know are things like meta descriptions, H1 tags, alt tags, and URL structure. Google takes these signals to identify the subject matter of your landing pages, so you should make them as accurate as possible. Now, some of you may not know what a meta description or an alt tag is, and that's okay. Let me show you. Let's take a look at a SERP. If we search the phrase guitar strings, we can take a look at the third result. We can see from juststrings.com that the title of the blue text listing, guitar strings by guitar strings for sale from juststrings.com, the description below that is the meta description. You can see just from looking at this example how important both of these meta elements are. The combination of your title and description form the message that gets presented to your potential audience in order to get them to visit your site. In order to set our page title, we'll use the title tag element in our web page's HTML. Since our landing page is targeting a specific keyword, we'll want to include that keyword in our title. And since placing our keyword into the meta description doesn't have a direct effect on ranking, we'll use the meta description to write a catchy call to action reeling in our potential visitors. But keep it within 160 characters to fit the search result. Don't worry about squeezing your keyword into the description too much, just making an engaging call to action. Setting a meta description can be done with a meta tag. An alt tag is the little text that appears when you hover your mouse over an image. 
Since search engines can't technically read images, they use alt tags as their clues to describe what the image is about. So we'll add alt tags with our specific target keywords for the images on our landing page to send another signal to Google that our web page is in fact relevant to those searches. Many content management systems like WordPress, Squarespace, or Weebly will have dedicated areas where you can write your own page titles, alt tags and meta descriptions for each page so you won't need to actually dig into your HTML if your site is hosted on one of those CMSs. However, let's say you run a big website and don't know off the top of your head how well every page is structured. This is where you'll want to run a site audit and get a list of every technical issue that needs fixing. Having too much text in a title tag, missing h1 tag, missing alt attribute, duplicate meta descriptions, and little details can all build up and hurt your SEO. Site audit finds all these issues and tells you how to fix them. If you're just getting started trying to improve your site's on-page SEO, this is a great place to start. Once you have a roadmap of all these places on your site that need fixing, you can rewrite these elements to optimize your site. Other practices that go into on-page SEO include URL structure, canonical tags, and keyword usage. URL structure is basically the way how categories and web page titles will influence the URLs of a site. Studies have shown that having short and readable URLs are preferred by users, and including your keyword in the URL can help your SEO. So you'll want to set up categories on your website that allow you to write clean, easy to read URLs. Next, taking advantage of canonical tags will help you avoid duplicate content on your website. Having more than one page with the same content on a website is a negative factor for your SEO because it confuses search engines on which page to list and rank in their index. Adding the canonical tag to one of your pages can instruct search engines to index the page you want and ignore the duplicate. The result will tell you search engines to only pay attention to the canonical page and send all links to the single page, therefore optimizing your efforts. To get more inspiration to keep improving our site, we can set up an SEO ideas campaign in the same project. This tool helps us gather possible changes to make the pages on your website rank higher for the keywords you're targeting. All the ideas come from SEMrush looking at the websites that are already ranking in your top positions for your target keyword. You'll receive suggestions to improve your content, strategy, technical issues, backlinks, and more. To begin, we'll want to load the specific landing pages we're looking to focus on and tell SEMrush the keyword we would like to target with each landing page. Once you load in all of your landing pages and keywords, SEMrush will generate the ideas. You can try some of them out to beef up your SEO and follow their impact over time in the Trends tab. If we want to make a new landing page from scratch, We'll go back to the main navigation menu and find the SEO content template. This tool takes any keyword or set of keywords and gives us back a full template of suggestions on how to structure your entire page to rank for that keyword. We'll get great ideas to map out our on-page SEO, length of content, and even potential websites to attempt to get a backlink from. So let's wrap things up. The basics of improving your on-page SEO starts with keyword research. Then, you'll want to focus on cleaning up your page titles, descriptions, and URLs. Make sure the target keyword for each page is clearly in the title, the URL is readable, and the meta description reels people in. To double check where all of the issues on your site are, run a site audit. Don't forget to use alt tags for all of your images and the canonical tag for duplicate content. Set up SEO ideas for each of your landing pages and see what ideas SEMrush suggests to improve your pages. As you test out the ideas, monitor your improvement in the trend tab of the tool. And if you're making a new landing page, generate an SEO content template to map out the perfect outline. That just about does it for this video. If you want to learn more, check out the links in the description and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips on improving your website.